Welcome to Once Upon a Pipe. A uh, couple of items to share with you today. First, um, obviously as we are approaching the Easter uh, season, um, some things that I want to encourage you for those of you who would be inclined to um, think about what Easter means, uh, the celebration, the recognition, um, the memorializing of uh, Christ's death on the cross and of course his resurrection um, three days later from the tomb that he was sealed in. Um, this little guide here, it is a 40-day Bible reading plan, um, which really actually doesn't really have much to do with Easter, except for the fact that I will say uh, this week it had to deal with 1 Corinthians 15, and, um, and it's just a, a good scripture to read. But this plan here, you can see that, is an excellent plan to go through 40 scriptures that highlight uh, and kind of touch on the tenets of the Christian faith, both from the Old Testament and the New Testament. So, um, and I actually, I don't know exactly uh, the link for this plan. This was given to me by somebody at my church um, several weeks ago, and, and, and I use this on a regular basis, uh, especially when I get to work. I've got a few minutes before I actually um, go into the office that I sit out in the car and kind of go through this plan. But anyways, 1 Corinthians 15, and, and I think that's a good scripture to start with, a good passage for just uh, thinking about what that means. Um, also, today I've got a good idea for you, uh, and some of you may have already had this idea, um, and you probably are already aware of this and may have even done it yourself. Um, that is, if I can get the camera on here, these little tin cans that I got off of Amazon, I found to be a very good way of it's probably good. Maybe if I should bring this like this to organize and um, keep all my little pipe stuff nice and neat. And I'll tell you why. Because normally what happens is that I get Ziploc bags like this. what I picked up yesterday from my local place, uh, Schwab's, and this is Tom's. This is a, um, I would say, mm, maybe um, a very light um, aromatic kind of, almost I thought an English feel, but anyways, I get these little plastic bags in these corners right here always always after a while of carrying them around end up uh, getting holes in them and then there's stuff all over the place so what I did is I decided to pick up some of these and um, they work very 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 well and surprisingly they hold quite a bit Look at that. Now you've got things in a tin. It's nice and neat. I love these. Look, fits right in the pocket. You can always have something there. Um, I also look for little tin cans that are laying around that aren't being used. I found this one there. And this has a wonderful kind of a hodgepodge blend there. That's uh what I take of a, um, from just a little bit of mount that's left in the bag when it gets down to the very bottom there and I don't want to throw it away of course I'm not going to do that so I just combine them 
all that from all my little bags, put it in this little can, put it here, and I've got a nice little neat can with me. Um, so, great idea. Look on Amazon. You can find that. Uh, you can find these tins on there. They're they're not very much, um, and it's just a wonderful way to keep everything nice and neat. And by the way, um, I don't really do too many reviews because I think everybody has their own taste, and and uh, mine certainly, you know, wouldn't necessarily mean that it's good because I say it's good. But uh, that being said, that is excellent. That got good reviews. And speaking of reviews, I'm going to show you something that I've started doing um, a few weeks ago. And basically, just so I could uh, be in the habit of writing, I started keeping a little journal, a written journal. Um, and I had this box here, I've got several boxes like this, that have tons of stuff in it. You know, I've got all kind of good stuff in here. And I thought, man, you know, I should take the time to just sit down and go through uh, just one ball of this, write down my thoughts so that later on, I'll, I'll know what um, what uh, what I thought about it and so I started that back on uh, January 23rd and then basically once a week generally on a Saturday um, or Sunday afternoon I will sit down for a moment of quiet and uh, just get a little sample and then write about it. Today, I am going to be looking at this. This is um, Sutliff Private Stock Moulin Rouge. Um, I haven't had this before. I trust that it'll be fairly pleasant. I don't know. And you might remember several videos ago, I mentioned something about the, the clay pipe. Um, all I can tell you is for an exceptionally cheap price, this is excellent. Um, less than $15 and it is wonderful. Pro provides just an excellent, excellent, excellent smoke very cool the bowl gets a little hot so if you hold it right here it, it gets really hot but holding the stem it's very cool and it's really clean like put the pipe cleaner through there um, after finishing the bowl and it and it almost comes out white so very 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 good stuff um, I think the idea of writing and writing by hand it 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 makes us slow down a little bit. Uh, I like the idea of keeping a journal. Obviously, with five kids, I don't quite do it as often as I'd like. But I figure if I could discipline myself to go through this box and a couple more boxes I have stored away and um, just take the time to write uh, a couple sentences about what I'm what I'm uh, using what I'm smoking then it will benefit me uh, in that like any other thing whenever whenever you're writing you're using a skill you're exercising uh, getting your thoughts out and putting it on paper so that you can uh, go back to it and, and it's just a good way to uh, articulate what you're feeling. And I do advocate writing by hand. The handwriting is important. You know, when my kids, long after I'm gone, uh, they'll be digging through this stuff and they'll look at this. 
and they'll see their father's handwriting. And there's a, there really is something powerful about handwritten notes. I remember after my mom passed away, I found some letters that uh, I had stored away back from when I was in the service, back in the uh, late 1980s. I went in in 1987, and so from 87 to uh, 91, when I was stationed out in Fort Carson, Colorado, 2nd Battalion, 12th Infantry, um, I found those letters, and I remember when I got down to the end of the letter and, and, and saw my mom's name at the end, it just, uh, just chills came all through me. So there is something really powerful about, um, about doing that. So with that being said, I'm going to start my review of this. Um, and, uh, okay. And, and of course, when you have five kids, it, it just, uh, you know, you got to deal with things. So right now they've got a situation they want me to deal with. Um, I wish you well. These are just a couple of ideas. The tin cans, um, the journaling, and by all means, for a very, very, very inexpensive uh, pipe. Um, I found this one on eBay, less than $15. Excellent investment. If anything at all, get one if, and, and add it to your collection if you don't already have one. Well, that's all I've got for this session on Once Upon a Pipe. I do hope you have a blessed week and I do hope that you will consider the things leading up to Resurrection Sunday. Look through 1 Corinthians 15. Uh, read that for those of you who are inclined to do so. May God bless you and I hope you have a good week. And thank you for tuning in Once Upon a Pipe.